shorty batteries 2S in lightweight cars such as a Formula One and running uh, low power motors in blinky mode uh, 21.5 or um, even uh, 13.5 is there any point running very high power batteries like these 110 C and large capacity 5000 milliamps 100 C or can you run a lightweight battery such as a 3500 and uh, still get the same performance because the current draw uh, is going to be quite low so there's not going to be a big load on these um, batteries and you'll probably only be using say 1000 1500 milliamps so it's not even going to get anywhere near uh, uh, using up all the capacity so the voltage should stay high so uh, what I'll do is uh, we take these three high power ones and test them I weigh them and then put them on the discharge and see how they hold the voltages up okay the batteries are basically all the same size except this one is fractionally uh, less length and it's course very thin compared to these two uh, the big IP5000 has five millimeter sockets the others have four millimeters and uh, it's got plus minus plus minus and it's the other way around on the arrow max but it does have connections all the way through so you can turn it upside down I just check the weight uh, the arrow oops just turn this on Aramax is quite heavy, 208 grams, and then you've got uh, the IP5000, 205 grams, so very similar, and then you've got this little lightweight 35, only 144 grams. So what I'm going to do is going to charge them up fully and immediately put them on a high power discharger. And as I've done with all the other batteries I've tested, I can check uh, the volts as it starts off, uh, what happens straight away where the voltage drops, and then uh, measure the um, voltage at uh, various uh, capacity drops. Um, I normally do 600 milliamps, but uh, probably uh, try and do it a bit quicker on these. And then see what the actual capacity is when it reaches a 6.0 volts, which should be the end, just to check the capacity. Just charge this uh, to 8.4 volts, the um, Aramax one, uh, straight off the charger. So um, now this is a fairly high current discharge here, uh, which are going to record the results. Um, with a 21.5 turn motor it won't draw that many amps but um, I'm still going to do it on this discharger just to compare because these uh, can also be used in buggies and other things so we might as well see what sort of performance they give so um, I've got the uh, watt meter uh, I'll show you the amps and the milliamps and the volts so as soon as I plug it in I'll start recording the results and then uh, I'll write them all down and uh, we can look at them and compare when I'm finished. So I'm going to start by plugging this in straight away. Okay, it's uh, 37 amps. It's gone to 7.44 volts. And now it's dropped to 7.37. And as you can see, it's drawing 34 amps at the moment. And at, uh, we do it at about 300 milliamp hours. And then I'll record it about every 300 milliamp hours. So it's 7.37. I'll do it at 600, and then uh, 1 amp per hour. And uh, as soon as it's finished, I'll put all the results up. I'll also check the temperature of the battery afterwards, see if it's changed. Okay, the battery I've stopped it at 6.0 volts. It's showing uh, 4,743, and uh, the temperature is um, it's not very warm. It's about uh, uh, let's 
about 32 degrees centigrade, around about 30. I'll put 31 degrees centigrade, which is nothing really. Uh, the ambient in here is about 18 degrees. The IP5000 100C, uh, just going to uh, start it up. Seven point seven five initially. It's dropped to seven point seven zero. About seven point six three at about fifteen hundred amps, thirty five amps at fifteen hundred milliamps. I mean, and at three hundred milliamps, we've got. Um, Seven point five seven, and I'll do it at six hundred and all the way through. Still drawing um, thirty three amps. Coming up to the end of the charge on the IP five thousand. Uh, see if it can make five thousand. It's only about four thousand three hundred and four thousand four hundred, and it's going six point two six one six. Only made 4,447. Let's check the temperature. There it is. It's quite warm. It's about 35 degrees in the middle. Got the smaller IP now, the 3,500 charged up. Uh, got this on watts. Going to see what it does as soon as I plug it in. Went to 7.62, now it's dropped to 7.5, 7.5 at 35 amps. And at uh, 300 milliamps, it is 7.44, still doing nearly uh, 33 amps. Okay, we called it right through to the end, so it's going to be quite quick, it's only 3,500. 3,500 IP is struggling a bit, it hasn't even got to 3,000 milliamps and the voltage is already dropping 6.26 and the 6 volts it was at 2.86 only. Let's check the battery. It's warm but it's uh, at 35 degrees the same as the others. The capacity is not good, nor was the um, the results. Here, let's look at the results now. Now, the first time the arrow max went through didn't give a very good result, so I'm going to run it through again. Uh, it gave, um, as you can see, as soon as I plugged it in, it dropped to 7.37 volts. Now, if you look at the Intellect 5000. 7.63 and and uh, say you used 1500 milliamps at the end of your run um, the internet 7.31 is still uh, significantly uh, more powerful uh, than the arrow max and um, the small 3500 is um, has had low voltage well, actually it was better than the uh, arrow max at the start at 300 and then started dropping at 600 so I'm going to retest the arrow max temperatures at the end um, over 30 degrees nothing special at 6 volts the arrow max had more capacity 4740 so it beat the 4600 the intellect 5000 didn't make 5000 only 4450 and the 3500 uh, was a 
terrible 2860 at 6 volts so I'll retest the Aramax the Aramax battery is uh, fully charged it took 4440 milliamps which is not as much as uh, 4600 never mind anyway it just came off the charger let's uh, plug it in see what happens last time it only managed um, 7.37 volts once it got going let's see what it can do this time Gone to 7.63 initially, dropped to 7.57 at um, 35 amps, say, and then at 300 milliamps, we've got 7.5. Still drawing 33 and a half amps, and uh, take it all the way through. Coming up to the end of the ch discharge on the Aramax 4600 on the second run through. At the end of the discharge, it made 4.74 last time. Looks like it uh, is holding up the voltage quite well at the end. Looks like it's going to be very similar, starting to drop. Four point seven two three, almost identical at six volts. Nice and warm. It's about 33 degrees on the case. So let's uh, take a look. Uh, we've got a better result now, second time round. The first time on the Aramax, it didn't like it. First time being charged after manufacture so I repeated it and uh, this time the intellect when it's plugged in and the voltage uh, maintained 7.63 the Aramax still was a little bit lower and it was a little lower at uh, 300 and uh, still a little lower at 600 but one amp it got a lot closer 1.5 and then at 2 and right at the end um, so the Aramax and the Intellect, but the Intellect is still better okay this is a fairly high charge at 35 amps, uh, be more than say with a 21.5 turn motor but if you still wanted to um, get the maximum performance into your uh, car for speed then the Intellect is the best one. Also in the cost at the moment in the UK retail Aramax 60 pound, Intellect 55 and the smaller one 40 so it's still uh, Intellect's better value and better performance. Uh, if you use the small one yeah it's very lightweight you might if your car's overweight you might benefit from being underweight but the um, the voltage um, halfway through the race say about here is um, is down but in a 21.5 and a car if it's uh, the right weight the differences would be small but if you um, if you don't mind the weight of the this one this is the one to go for